Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Network For You. We welcome you all to our uh, CCNP series 350-401. If you remember, we finished this one. As per our student, they are okay with the troubleshooting. So we finished this Ether channel. Now we will do this one. If you see, we are going to do about the explain the different design principle used in an enterprise network. So we are going to learn this enterprise network design. Now we are going to see this one in our this class. So let me show you here. I have this here. So I have two tier, three tier, tier architecture. I have here two tier, three tier architecture. So we are going to discuss here what is two tier, what is three tier architecture or in other words we can say two layer or three layer architecture. So we are going to see this one here in this class. If you see this is our uh, design which we are even going to use in enterprise network. We have the core layer, distribution layer, access layer, three layer switches. This is a very high configuration switch and routing protocol is running and this switch is joining the WAN to LAN. And we have distribution layer switch. In this one, we are running the policy base, security as well as ACL. And we have the access layer switch where we are connecting the end devices. And here we have the STP, VLANs and all that one. So we are going to discuss, but before going that one, first of all, we will discuss what is core layer. So if you see, we are saying the core layer consists of the biggest and the fastest and the most expensive routers with the high models. In this layer, in this one, in the three tire architecture, the core layer is a one of the coordinating everything. This core layer switch is taking care of everything. It is only role to forward the traffic. It will forward the traffic and here we do not apply any policy. If you see in this core layer, we did not apply any policy. The main role of this one is to forward the traffic. And this is a very expensive switch or router that is layer three or layer 3 switch or router whereas distribution switch and core layer is consist as a backbone of the network we are calling the core layer switch as a backbone of the network and the role of this one to forward the traffic very fast and the core switch talk with the distribution switch using the dynamic routing protocol so whenever we configure they both are communicating by using the dynamic routing protocol and the core layer can provide the high speed switching and reliability fault tolerance at the core la layer most advantage and expensive this one is the most advanced and expensive switches use so if you see here, the core layer we are using the most expensive as well as advanced router or layer 3 switch and we have same like this we have the distribution layer so let's see what is distribution layer so this is a core layer how it look it is very expensive you can see the picture it is expensive see here and here we can say core layer is also saying as a backbone and he is responsible for transferring off a large amount of traffic very quickly okay so this one is that one and if you see distribution distribution layer is located between the axis layer and the core layer so distribution if you see here let me show you if i have the layout here yeah, here this is a distribution distribution layer so distribution layer is present in between the core layer and the axis layer okay this is one point another point if you see here let me show you here the distribution layer ensure that the packets are properly routed between the subnet and the vlan and distribution layer can provide the aggregation of the local area network or van link so just remember in this distribution layer we apply the policy based security and the acls and also provide the routing services between the lan and vlan and between the routing domain so just you need to remember two three points here distribution is having the policy based security and acl we will apply in the distribution layer like you can apply the quality services quality of service policies in this whereas in the axis layer, if you see the axis layer, this is a distribution uh, layer switch. And if we look for the axis layer, this is the axis layer where all the end devices are connecting. Okay, all the end devices are connecting. And you can see axis layer switch is a switch which is connected to the user, close to the user. All the users are going to connect to the axis layer switch. 
and the main purpose of access layer so is to connect to the all end devices and here we can apply the what we can apply we can apply the security and we can apply the ARP inspection, spanning tree, power over ethernet and VLAN and quality of service all we can apply to this one. This is the main point where all the attackers can attack, they can connect to this device and they can go uh, to disturb our network. So we will take care about this one, we will apply many policies and we can create the VLAN in the this access layers uh, switch. Okay, so if you see this is a three tire architecture if you see we have core layer and distribution layer access layer so in the core layer we have the routing protocol is running and it is joining the wide uh, wide area network to our local area network the role of this core layer is to forward the traffic very quickly and very fast then we have distribution layer as we discussed distribution layer is responsible for uh, policy based security as well as the quality of service and we can apply the filters all whatever we want we can apply here and then we have the access layer and in the access layer all the users can connect that can be IP phone, scanner, printer or you have the controller, WLC controller or you can connect here the access point all that will connect to the access layer switch. Okay. So if you see this is a three tire architecture as we told this one is using in the biggest organization the large and the big organization the big enterprise network are using these types of design in the these types of design in the network so if you see we have core layer distribution layer access layer but if you see some organization they don't have budget to off, uh, take the expensive switch so for that purpose we have another solution also we can say we will remove the core layer, we will make core layer and distribution into one layer and we will have only distribution and core layer and access layer means we will remove this one let me show you if the organization is not having that much budget so we can remove this one we have only this one and this one we can run like this also but the prefer way to use all these three so whatever big organization they will use the this way but if the organization is unable to uh, what we can say if they don't have budget then they can use as a uh, two uh, layer architecture and it is known as the core or distribution layer as axis layer so we have the same like that only but here we have only two two layer instead of three layer we will have the two layer and here if you see the benefits what we will have benefits we will have the easily troubleshooting uh, and we will have the easy management and redundancy easily troubleshooting like that we can say advantage and this is Cisco uh, give the architecture so this is the best architecture and we have the benefits like what we can say high performance and the easy network troubleshooting any issue and the better performance and policy creation application we can have many advantage by using this one and here we have the multiple link across the multiple device we have redundancy here in this one because all these devices are connected here so if this link go down if this link go down it will work with the other link so we can say we have the redundancy here we have the high performance here because if this link go down even though this switch will work with this link so we have benefit here also so just remember first of all see here what we are saying we have the two uh, two uh, let me go here okay so we have the two layer or three layer architecture okay two layer or three layer architecture just uh, le let me before closing this video let me repeat again see here what i am saying we have two layer and three layer architecture in three layer we have the core layer distribution layer axis layer this is very expensive three uh, switches or router layer three switch or router this is also very expensive if organization is very good they can use same same type of router, routers or the layer 3 switch for distribution also core and distribution same but if they don't have budget then they will have the little lower configuration for distribution layer and here you will configure the dynamic routing protocol and the role of this one just tra transfer the traffic very fast and quickly and here we will have the policy based services all the services whatever we want to apply like security or policy base or VLAN and quality of service we will apply here and this is the access layer here what we will have we will have the VLAN spanning tree 
power over ethernet and all that feature will be available here and this will be near to end device all end device is going to cover connect to this layer okay and if you remove this one then it will say as a layer 2 architecture if you take this one we will say layer 3 architecture okay so this is simple only just theory to have the idea don't worry if you have any confusion write in the comment we are going to bring again one more video explaining by saying that one what is what okay so we will end this uh, class now later we will have uh, next video subscribe to our channel share uh, with your friend who is interested in ccna ccnp and python like our video thank you bye